or showing them what to do, whatever, but it wasn't, it wasn't there. The, visual, the visualization wasn't there for my friend. And that ruined her experience. She wasn't, a, she wasn't able to focus on the exercises. She was rather focusing on what she had to do and had to constantly think about, am I doing this right, am I doing this right? Because she didn't see what has, what has to be done properly. And she's the, it's her first time. We all know as Honor Citizens interns that not everyone who comes in this program knows what to do. Okay? That's the fundamental concept behind Honor Citizens. We're giving it to the public who may not know how to exercise. So when I saw that and was continuing through the whole thing, I just felt, I felt hurt because I didn't I myself didn't realize that was happening. Because I oh okay, I, okay. If it was just me, I'm a kinesiology major. I know what to do. I know the, the routine, what to do. The exercise is vast. It's not, oh, 10 minutes. Okay, okay, I, I got it, I got it. I, even though I didn't see anything, I still have, I still internalize the privilege of knowing the exercise, of, not, of being able to hear just a little bit. She didn't. She didn't know that. She didn't have any, that didn't have that privilege. So we sometimes forget what we have, that we have the ability to hear, the ability to speak, and that access is blocked for her. It's blocked. So that's why this is, this is important for me to demonstrate to you the honey citizens and turn especially to all the participants who may interact with a deaf person or may interact with a person who does not speak the same language as you. That's the fun, that language access, that's where it is. Not, we have a, we have a huge Spanish speaking population here. You can expect them to not understand any command you say in English, you can't. Can't. That's just like expecting someone to know, act like me expecting someone to know sign language right away when I interact. With them. That's not fair. That's why I feel you know, the body language. So easy. You see me. You see me. You feel the energy. You feel the energy. You feel focused. You feel exciting. It's something new. But now you have to think, oh, it's awesome. This is awesome. I don't want you to think it's just awesome. I want you to think, oh. I can use my voice a lot, I can rely on that a lot. Okay, what can I do differently if I interact with a person who does not speak the same language as me or does not use the same language as me? Okay. I have bodies, I have, we have limbs, we all have limbs. We can all move it, right? We can all draw pictures with our, with our limbs. That's what American Sign Language is all about. Taking pictures with your hands. And I know all of us have the ability to do that, especially the 100, 100 citizens interns. We really have to realize that it's our job to facilitate the communication between me and the participant. Make sure their experience is phenomenal. Make sure they keep coming back. That they keep coming back because my, obviously my friend's not here today. That's the second part of it. Because she had, a, she had a bad experience in PE and it felt like PE again. Why would you go to something that feels like PE again? <laughs> yeah. So that's just that's just me trying to help you recognize your privilege as, as a hearing as a hearing person as an English speaking population. And it's not a bad thing. I'm not here to make you feel guilty. My my friend had a bad experience. Sure, it's not your fault. Some of you didn't know. That's the point. You didn't know. You didn't realize that. That's why I'm here. I wanted to help you realize it. You'll probably forget after today. That's fine. It's my job to continue telling you. To, they're reminding you that you have a body that you can use to draw pictures. Yeah. So that's the reason why, and if you ever want to learn sign language, oh, I'm always here to teach you. ABCs, I, I don't know if some of you remember the first day of Honey Sand Sands. I remember the first uh, the first, second Friday of this Friday morning, ways I taught you some ABCs, or some, some ready, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But here, I didn't use it. I didn't have to use sign language. You still understood me. So charades. I think that makes a connection. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for being quiet during the stretches. Now you.